What is up, Wolfpack? Today we're going to be covering body armor in shit hits the fan situations. You know, it's always fun to go and, you know, pick out the latest cool gun. This is one of my favorites. This is the, the Caltech M Carbo. It's the perfect backpack gun. You can see here it's got this folding situation. It also works with Glock mags. It's phenomenal. It's great. Now, but this is meant for making holes. And I would argue that saving yourself from getting hold is more important than making holes. And so today's video is going to be actually talking about a key component of your overall shit hits the fan kit and that should be body armor so body armor i think is one of the most overlooked most underrated aspects of your overall you know bug out kit your overall home defense kit and i think it's so critical for you to be able to number one make sure that you're not getting shot at but then number two the ability for you to return fire despite getting shot at and when we're looking at all of the different options out there for, for body armor itself, it can get a little intimidating, so we're gonna kinda of walk you through that today. Stick around at the end of the video because we're also gonna be giving away not only an SC4, which we've been doing, we've already sent out a bunch to Dan, Jeff, Travis, Toby, Kristen, hope you're enjoying it, but we're gonna be giving out everything that's in my ultralight bug out kit. Are you kidding me? We are sending out so much goodies, over $500 worth of goodies, including a headlamp. We're actually gonna give a black diamond headlamp. It's even better than this one. This multi-charging cable. Your choice of either a skeletal or a one-handed trekker as a, as a pocket EDC blade, as a backup to your SC4. We're gonna be giving away the battery bank to make sure that your phone, which is one of the most underrated survival tools, is also stocked up. We're also gonna be giving away the Fire Steel and the Tinder Wick, a whole bunch of goodies. We're gonna walk you through everything and how you'll be able to win this at the end of the video. So stick around to the end of the video. Today's video is gonna be about body armor specifically. So we'll put away the SC4, we'll come back to that in just a little bit. So body armor specifically. So with all the different options out there, whether it's, you know, you're looking at ceramic plates, metal plates, soft plates, it can, it can get a little intimidating. You're, you know, do I do level two? Do I do level three? Do I do level three plus, level four? And so when I was looking at all of the different options, I was like, all right, what, what is, what is the, the thing that my audience is going to like? What is it that the, the wolf pack would appreciate? Now, the best out there for sure is ceramic plates. I have no doubt about that. They are, they, ceramic plates is gonna give you the, the deepest protection. The problem with ceramic plates is number one, they are not drop safe. And so if you drop them, they do crack, they do end up getting compromised. But number two, they only have a five year shelf life. And for someone that's a little bit tight on money, you know, being able to replace super expensive, you know, several hundred dollar pieces of equipment every few years just doesn't make sense as a start. It can, you can do it in the future, but in the meantime, you want something that's gonna last a lifetime. And you know, when you're looking at all those different options, you kind of have to stick with steel plates. And steel plates get a bad rep, particularly steel plates from AR500 get a bad rep. They get a bad rep for a multitude of reasons. Number one, standard steel plates, if you've looked at the, uh, the ballistics on them, if you don't have what, what if you could take a look here, this has almost got like a rubber rubberized coating on it. It's almost like a buildup. It's like the same stuff that's on your truck bed. Um, if it doesn't have this, if it's just the raw metal, when the round hits it, the amount of splatter of the metal fragments can actually go up and actually, you know, hit you right under your chin and actually end up causing death. And so when you're looking at these things without this buildup coat, it'll actually not do its job, which is really to protect you. It'll prevent you from plugging a hole for sure, but it won't prevent you from being injured and continue to stay in the fight. And so you have, when, when AR500 is advertising their steel plates, they're often doing the bare bones metal plate. It's flat, so it's not even comfortable. It's got no buildup coat. It's got none of the trauma pads behind it. So it's like bare, bare bones, which I think nobody should be purchasing. It's dangerous and it's, it's, it's almost, it's like you're, you're probably better off without plates to be able to stay more mobile. Cause let me tell you, this stuff is heavy, but if you're willing to spend a little bit of extra money, in fact, it's not that much money. I got this on a buy one, get one free sale, $200 for the set, both the front and the back. I got them with the buildup coat. I got them with the curve. So they come either flat or with a curve. I highly recommend the curve for, for additional comfort. Um, this particular model is a level three plus, which will be more than enough to protect you from the almost every pistol round and in certain situations, even certain rifle rounds. Um, the level four plates will actually even protect you up to M193, 
uh, and I actually have those as well. But what I love about these is they last 20 plus years. Wolfpack, they last 20 years. They're heavy. They're, they're gonna take you three months to get to your house if you're lucky. They've got so many negative things, but they last 20 years. It's a, you set it and forget it. You buy it once and you never have to worry about it again. And so when you're looking at all of the multitude of options, metal plates should be your first option. Now you have to get all the extras. You've got to get all the upgrades. You've got to get the buildup coat. You have to get the curve. You have to get the trauma pad behind it. You have to get all of that stuff, but you buy that and you never have to worry about armor again. And so, um, while there's a, a, a ton of things that I could fault AR 500 for the fact that these aren't NIG, truly NIG certified, the fact that they have, you know, scammy pricing tactics, the fact that they have terrible customer support, the fact that they have awful lead times. If you're, if you're going to buy this, expect to be waiting multiple months. Don't be monitoring your email. It's going to take a while, but what I can't fault them for is cheap pricing on body armor. I can't fault them for that. And so for that alone, I think it's worth pulling the trigger unless someone in the comments is a better option at a better price point. You can see here, they also sent this out to me for free. Uh, this is actually also an AR500 plate carrier, which the plate carriers themselves, I'd actually, I, I would recommend them. Those are actually pretty decent quality. They've done a good job there. And so, you know, being able to put this in here, the way you're able to, to, to get this going and you, you open this up, You have this popped open and you just feed this plate carrier through, tuck it all the way up and then bring this all the way down and you're good to go. There you go. So now that, that part is secured and then we're going to do the back, make sure that that's all also ready to go. So once again, pop open the Velcro. Pull out the flap and we'll get the next one. Now these are heavy. They're like 10 pounds each and it's, it's a flat 10 pounds, which is, I, I, I wish you could feel just how heavy this is. This is, does not feel like a 10 pound dumbbell. It feels a lot heavier. It honestly feels like a 20 pound dumbbell. Stick this down, secure it. And now you've got, I mean, this thing is heavy. I'm not going to lie. I mean, you, you can get it. You can feel that you can get a, a decent workout going with this. You throw this on there. I mean, you'll, you, you'll be lucky to run a quarter mile with this thing on. So it's heavy. Nah, there's no, there's no doubt about that. It's heavy, but is it going to save your life in a home defense situation? Absolutely. Is it going to protect you from getting shot? hundred percent. You know, you secure this, you make sure you want to have this high and tight on your chest to protect the vital organs. You do not want this thing sagging halfway down your chest and, and not protecting near your clavicle region. You wanna make sure you're protecting your lungs. You wanna make sure you're protecting your heart, all of your vital organs. In fact, when you're looking at most, uh, most self-defense situations, people tend to shoot at what they're looking at. And what they're looking at is usually their gun. And so the gun is usually held up around chest level. And so you wanna make sure that that is all taken care of. And so, yeah, and shit hits the fan situation, you definitely wanna have body armor. You wanna have that stock and ready to go. You wanna have that next to your nightstand gun. You want to make sure you're going to be able to. The way I stage this is I have one side open and one side closed. So you can see here, I keep this side open and the other side I keep secured. And the way that you're able to do this is you sort of just feed your arm through here, slip it on, and then you don't even need to close the other side if you needed to in an emergency, but you'll be able to slip this on very easily. And so I've got this. I've also got another one. This one's actually for the, for the wife. Um, so you've got this setup. So this is actually my backup setup. So. Would I recommend it? 100%. In shit hits the fan situations, you definitely want body armor. It is a lot more important for you to protect yourself from getting shot than it is for you to be shooting. And so 100%, look into this, put this as part of your overall preps. I think it'll help you, uh, you know, you just take care of your overall preparedness setup. So with that, let's talk about the giveaway. We're, we Once we hit 10,000 subscribers, which should be happening very soon, the way this channel has been growing has been amazing. Thank you so much to the community. Uh, we would not be growing as fast as we have without you. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be giving away the SC4, of course, but also in addition to that, we're going to be giving away everything in my ultralight bug out kit. And so 
Watch that video if you wanna see everything that's in that kit or you can click the link in, in the description. We'll walk you through a lot of the items that are in there. We've got a lot of fun goodies. You know, we talked about the Skeletal or you can get the one-handed Trekker, both incredible multifunction knives and they're gonna be a great backup. You know, you've got now two blades to be able to handle in your bug out situation. You've got an incredible fire steel. You've got, this is one of my favorite pieces of kit, which is the Tinder, the Tinder, uh, jute tinder twine from from uberleben i mean this is about an hour worth of tinder you stick this into a tinder bush and i mean you're going to get a fire going even in the wettest of conditions this thing's waterproof the i've got tarps in here i've got uh cargo tape i've got survival cord i mean we've got headlamp i mean the amount there's over 500 dollars worth of gear in here and so how do you enter number one hit subscribe and leave a comment that's it you just do that and you'll be able to uh to automatically be entered. If you want additional entries, and this is completely optional, subscribe via Patreon. I have a link in my description below. There's a, a couple of different Patreon tiers. You're gonna get one entry for, uh, you're gonna get 10 entries for every dollar. And so for the $9 plan, that's over 90 entries. So uh, check that out. Additionally, if you wanted to, and it's completely optional, you can leave a, a thumbs up on the video. You know, I really appreciate that. It uh, helps to increase the algorithm and it helps the video and the channel to grow faster so we can get to 10,000 faster, so we can give this away faster. And then also turn on notifications. I know that's it's annoying, but it's so, so critical. I had to track down Toby to get him his SE4. He did not realize he had won. I had to track him down everywhere. So I do not want that to happen to you. There's over $500 worth of gear. Turn on notifications so that you can uh, you can actually be notified when we, when we give this thing away. And also I respond to a lot of comments uh, you know, I really appreciate the notification squad. I'm usually sticking around for the first hour after a video has been posted just to respond to the comments and really appreciate interacting with the Wolfpack. So that's it. Really appreciate everyone. Looking forward to getting this awesome ultralight bug out kit to, to one lucky Wolfpack member. Uh, and with that, stay safe, everyone. Make sure you're staying protected. Keep your family protected. Stay safe. Cheers.